Hi everyone, it's Lisa and welcome to Lisa's Stamp Studio. I've had numerous people ask me, why don't you have a video of just about the Big Shot Basics? So I thought, you know what? Why don't I? So that's what today is about. I'm going to tell you a little bit about your Big Shot when you get it, give you some tips on the different platforms and what they're used for to make it easier for you to learn how to use it to its maximum capability. When you receive it from Stampin' Up, you will have to attach the handle and you may have to attach the little rubber feet. That'll help keep it from slipping on your work surface. The great thing about the Big Shot is it doesn't matter whether you're right-handed or left-handed because you can simply turn it around to accommodate your work surface. You're gonna find that the platform maneuvers very easily with the Big Shot platform that's gonna be included when you purchase it. And you're also gonna get a thin die adapter I'll talk to you about that a little bit more in just a minute. And you're gonna get a set of clear cutting mats. Aren't they beautiful when they're new? We're gonna talk a little bit about those in just a minute as well. The basic platform is for embossing folders and there's a picture of that right here. Whenever you're in doubt, refer to the platform itself. It'll give you instructions on what it's used for. The thin die adapter actually fits over the top just to raise up the platform a little bit higher so you can use it with very thin dies, such as those pictured here, like the layering circles. You can also use them with dies that are a bit more intricate, and I'll talk about that a little bit more in a minute. So let's just assume you're doing an embossing folder. You're gonna use your basic platform with the picture on it. You'll put a clear cutting mat on the bottom to protect your Big Shot. Now there is an exception. If you're using one of the very thick dynamic embossing folders, let me show you. This is one of the regular embossing folders. And this is one of the thick dynamic folders. So you can see the depth difference. Because of the depth difference on this one, the dynamic folder, you don't need the clear mat on the bottom. The thickness of the folder is actually gonna compensate for that. But you will always put a clear mat over the top of your project, whether you're using an embossing folder with your basic platform or with the thin die adapter. This is to protect your project as well as the folder or the dies themselves. So let's assume you're gonna be using framelits. So we're gonna put our thin die adapter on the top. We're going to place a clear cutting mat to protect it just like we did before with a regular thin embossing folder. And then you're gonna use your framelits. You're gonna lay those right on top of here with your cardstock or designer paper. And then you're gonna cover it again with another clear mat always to protect it. Again, that information is printed right on your platforms. But let's talk a little bit about the different platforms that we offer. In addition to the basic one, we also offer a magnetic platform. And I am a huge fan of this. So if you follow my videos already, you'll have seen me use this many times. Clear mat always on the bottom to protect it. And this is what's going to hold these metal framelits in place a lot easier. It's gonna prevent slippage. I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about how to prevent that too, as these mats become worn. If you don't have the magnetic platform, remember, thin die adapter with your basic platform. Let's talk about these. These are detailed dies. This is just a perfect example of what I mean by detailed. There's lots of intricate little spaces that are being die cut as well as openings. I like to use my magnetic platform with my precision base plate. Now you can see this is well used. It's gonna leave marks into the steel plate. It does not harm it. But what happens is, is this actually takes the place of one of the clear mats that would go on the bottom. So this is gonna create that extra depth. It actually sticks to it like glue. You'll place your paper on here and then your detail die and then another clear mat over the top to protect it. There is a warning about the magnetic platform in regards to those that have heart issues. So make sure that you read the disclaimer about that as well. On the back of the precision base plate, that there's a diagram here to instruct you as well as how to use it and when to use it. I promise we talk a little bit about those clear mats. This is what they look like when you first get them. Beautiful, huh? But after a period of time, they're gonna to start to look like this, which is completely normal. This is just from the cutting wear from the dies. So your layering circles, your detail dies, etc. But to get the maximum life from these, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that what was on the bottom will then once be on the top. What was in the front 
will then be turned to the back. By constantly interchanging them, you're going to avoid a very deep bow inside the plate from the compression of the rollers. So make sure that you interchange them often. Your Big Shot is an amazing purchase, and I really hope that today's tips have helped you to use it, as well as given you tips on what the other platforms are for. If you have questions I haven't addressed, by all means, please leave them in the comments section below. And if you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and you would like a copy of the current catalogs, I would be more than happy to send you complimentary ones. Just go ahead and leave me a comment so I can obtain your address. Thanks for joining me. I look forward to seeing you next week for another quick tip. Have a good day.